Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow cucumbers in spider farmer hydroponic system. Normally I start with the seeds but the most effective way of growing cucumbers is the cloning. I have a quick snack cucumber plant growing in this aero garden harvest and it has a long vine. Since I am growing in a small garden and the vine is getting tall, I am going to trim it. As I am trimming out, I am going to take a little bit longer cutting and clone it in spider farmer. It is pretty straightforward and easy process. Just take the cutting a couple of inches below and uh, try to take it below the node because nodes are the places where we see the roots. So I am cutting it between these two nodes. Now remove the baby cucumbers and leaf from this node. Then remove all these baby cucumbers because we want this stem to focus on developing the roots. Once it has roots, it will show lots of new growth and you will see lots of cucumbers. So we don't need to worry about losing these cucumbers. Alright, this is good. Or actually I am going to remove one more. It's much better this way. Now I'm going to place it in the pod and make sure the water is touching at least this node. Here is the pod. I want to give some support for this stem to stay within the pod. I can use a sponge but why do we want to waste the sponge? So I'm going to use this packaging material. I have a separate video about making cloning collars using the throwaway packaging material. So I'm going to follow the same process. Once I place this cutting into the pod, I also need to add a sticker. For that what I'm going to do is take a piece of foil and make a hole in the center. Then push the stem through this hole like this. Then insert the cutting into this cloning collar. Then place it into the pod basket. Just like this. I'm just trying to keep it at the very center. Alright. Now wrap the aluminum foil around the pod so that it won't move. Now place it into the spider former. That's it. Easy peasy, right? Alright. This spider former is set up with cucumber cutting. Just within 5 days, we will see this cutting will turn into plant with very well root system. I will show you the progress as the roots being developed. One more thing I want to mention at this point is, since I am starting this garden with cutting, I am going to start adding nutrition right away. I will use aero garden nutrients throughout this growth cycle. And I will use 4 ml of aero garden nutrients for every 1 liter of water. We all know that the aerogoden went out of business and no more aerogoden nutrients are available. So I started experimenting growing cucumber using alternate nutrition like MaxiGrow. But for now I am going with the aerogoden nutrients. It's day one. The cutting looks happy. Looks like it survived. It's just a day one. I can't expect any roots but uh, at least the cutting survived. It is staying alive. It's day 8, the cutting looks survived and it is showing good progress. I see some development, that's really nice. And I also see a baby cucumber. Now let's look at the root system. Wow, look at this root system. It is really excellent. Lots of roots. That's a really nice growth, nice development. Now I can consider this is a plant not cutting anymore. and. Keeping this baby cucumber here is totally fine. I am not going to remove it. I don't see any side development yet, but I am not worried too much. I see two baby cucumbers coming up here. I mean, they are actually flower birds. Let's see if they are going to survive. It's been 11 days. The plant is coming very nice and showing excellent progress. I see two flowers at full bloom today. One is here and the other one is here. And it has a few more flower birds coming up. Look at this. Very nice progress so far. It's day 17. The plant is coming excellent. And I see very good progress on two cucumbers. One here and one on the other side. I hope these two will survive and grow big. 
I'm pretty sure they actually survived. And there are many more babies on the way. That's really nice. This is really excellent progress just within 17 days. It's day 22. Look how beautiful this plant is coming. And look at these hidden gems. Wow. This is really nice and it's ready to harvest. And here is the other one on the other side. That's fantastic. Just within 22 days from the cutting, I got two nice cucumbers almost ready to harvest. And a few more showing good progress. Some of them are not showing good progress, but some cucumbers, some baby cucumbers are showing progress. That's wonderful. Very nice. It's day 23. Let's look at the cucumbers. Wow, they are growing nice. And look at this younger one. This is showing very good progress. That's really wonderful. And here is the other cucumber. Let's see if there are any more flowers. I don't see any flowers, but I see a couple of flower birds getting ready to bloom. So I'm excited for it. It's day 32. Look at these beautiful cucumbers. Two here and one here. All these cucumbers are ready to harvest. They have grown really big and they are ready to harvest. That's really awesome. Let's look at if there are any more cucumbers. So these are all babies. Not sure if they are going to survive. Ah, look at this. This is showing good progress. Now I should start harvesting these cucumbers. One thing we have to note with the cucumbers is we have to keep harvesting the cucumbers as soon as they are ready. Otherwise, they still take up the energy. They actually take a lot of energy from the plant and the plant won't be able to focus on growing remaining cucumbers. If I don't harvest these cucumbers, this younger cucumber is going to stuck here for a long time. So I'm going to start harvesting. This is really amazing. This is the beauty of growing from cuttings. Just within 32 days, I was able to harvest three cucumbers. Wow. This is the reason I always take some cuttings from the existing plant and start in new gardens. So I can save nearly 30 days. This is wonderful growth and the spider farmer is working excellent for this variety. Of course, the plant is also staying very short. Looking at this vine, it is under one feet and developing very well, producing nice cucumbers. I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to look for tall vines and take some cuttings and start new garden. With the cucumbers, nowadays I'm not waiting longer. I can keep the plants for months and months, but I don't see great productivity. You can clearly see here how this productivity is when I start from cutting. So that is the reason I just take the cutting and start new garden. That's going to give me cucumbers much faster. All right, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy hydroponics gardening.